All right, the first seven miles, already 600. Let me switch cameras here. Just brought it inside from my ride. You can see that the light is still going. I would say that I've been inside for about a minute. Yesterday, after just riding it, after putting it together, I don't know, I rode it just up and down the street. It seemed like the light stayed on during the entire time I did a Minnesota goodbye with my brother. Uh, assembly was great. My brother helped a ton. The brake, uh, the wheel was a little out of true, so he was able to true that. And then it turned out that the the disc just needed a tiny little bit of re, I don't know what you call it, warping or something. But now it's perfect. Took us a little while to figure out how to plug in the dynamo, but that all is all working. Obviously, my light's going. Um, the saddle didn't come yet. So they sent me a wonderful email saying, whoops, and we shipped it without the saddle. Saddle's on its way. And then FedEx claimed it would come yesterday, and it didn't. So this is a really, really old saddle off of, I don't know, something. Um, so I just shifted it into an easy gear just, just at the end of the day here, figuring I'd want that at the beginning. I think I used all 12 gears today. Definitely that granny gear way over here, number one. Um, is, I mean, you, you just need it for super gigantic steep stuff, and I didn't really have that. I started at a stop sign that was on a slight incline in first gear and immediately had to shift to third or something. I would say I spent most of my time in sixth or seventh. My old bike was the priority classic i guess it was i've had it for like five or six years and that had some issues um, and of course it was only a three speed but i would say that um every uh one of these gears sorry every one of the other gears is like three or so on this one i was doing a calculation of the gear ratios that seems about right it feels like what you have from about i don't know four to i don't know nine or something is like the classic three speed so you got stuff on both ends and lots of um grades in the middle some concerns that I'm worried about. Don't know if it's going to be a problem yet, but on the other classic, this belt, that, that's the really, really old belt that doesn't have the center channel, and it squeaks a lot. It's not a squeak so much. It's an unzipper sound. So as the, as the belt comes out from the gear, just comes lifts out of the gear, I guess it must be on the bottom, it's like it makes a tiny little pop sound. But if you um, do, do it, those pops a whole bunch of times, then it sounds like an unzipper. My guess is this won't do it. The other concern I have is the hydraulic fluid in the brakes. We're, I'm really curious to see if it can handle just how cold it can go. Some um, different information online about that. Uh, the light has a nice little tilt to it. I actually tilted it down from its original setting. You can see that it's still on, even while I've been talking here. And the back one is really going strong still. So that's pretty cool. Uh, fenders made a little bit of noise going over bumps today. It's possible we're not fully tightened, but uh, that was a little annoying, but I, I think, think it was great. I have to say, my one desire of bank manufacturers is just give us a little bit more clearance here. I suppose I could put a smaller tire on, but it would be just so nice if there was another, I don't know, inch of clearance so that the you didn't have to be so worried about the fender. Um, I have the, the rack that they sell. Seems to have been installed nicely. I really like these... Um, the way those bolts work there, the red ones. So you can just tilt it in. If you watch their video, they're bending the crap out of their bar to get it to work but I just uh, well my brother adjusted those screws and you can just see that it goes down at an angle and works just fine super solid I also splurged and got their backpack this is the Hudson whatever those three numbers are backpack um and clipped on there nice took a little while for me to get the the tightness on the bottom and you can see I didn't pack the, the backpack straps in super solid but it's not raining or anything today I would say first seven miles awesome can't wait to ride it home tonight um, oh, the kickstand, by the way, super awesome, too. I've got, uh, I don't know, a laptop and some, I don't know, maybe 10 pounds in there. The uh, kickstand's working just fine. So, yep, can't wait to ride tonight. We'll probably get a better sense of the gears. I would say that with the gears, if I feel like it's even just a little bit too hard, I can go down to one easier gear. And because it's such a small step, 17%, um, I... It's just perfect. In the same way the other way, if I feel like I'm going a little bit, spinning too hard on the pedals, one notch usually does the trick to kind of get me in my sweet spot. So for seven miles, looking forward to hundreds, thousands more.